So guys, <clears throat> this is the real Putin guys they say here. As we know guys, these are all puppets, you know, the the puppets here. But there are morons online guys that think that Putin is on their side. And uh, and let's see what they're what they mean. Let's hear what the puppet says here. Uh, which has to look uh, uh, like he is on your side, you know, against the New World Order, you know. We see that many Euro-Atlantic uh, Western states have taken the way uh, where they deny or reject their own roots, including their Christian roots, which form the basis of Western civilization. In these countries, the moral basis and any traditional identity are being denied. National, religious, cultural, and even gender identities are being denied or relativized. Look at other demons watching him, you know. Uh, there, politics treats a family with many children as equal to a homosexual partnership. Uh, juridically. Uh, faith in God is equal to faith in Satan. The excesses and exaggerations of political correctness is, in these countries, indeed leads to serious consideration for the legitimization of parties that promote the propaganda of pedophilia. Uh, the people in... It's, it's short, guys. The people... Who cares? Fuck off. Uh, the people in, in many European states are equally ashamed of their religious affiliation and are indeed frightened to speak about them. Christian holidays and celebrations are uh, abolished or uh, neutrally renamed as if one were ashamed of those Christian holidays. Look, look who's talking, the demon is talking about Christian uh, values, guys. With this method, uh, one hides away the deeper moral values of, of the reptilian here, will tell you the deeper moral values of these celebrations. Look, look at this all other clowns while he's talking guys there other so-called religious people you know and these countries try to force this model onto other countries globally i am deeply convinced that this is a direct way to the degradation and prim primitivization of cult of culture uh, this leads to deeper demographic and moral crisis in the west what can be a better evidence for the moral crisis of a human society in the West that, than the loss of its uh, reproductive functions? And today, nearly all developed Western countries cannot survive uh, reproducti reproductively, not even with the help of migrants. Without the moral values that are rooted in Christianity and uh, other world religions yes that you have created you monsters without rules and moral values which have formed and been developed over millennia people will uh, inevitably lose their human dignity become brutes uh, the translation here. Uh, but here's Putin that will save us and we think it is right and natural to defend and preserve this moral Christian values uh, one has to respect the right of every minority to self-determination, but at the same time uh, there cannot and must not be any doubt about the rights of the majority. At the same time of this process at a national level in the West, we observe on an international level the attempts to create a unipolar, unified model, get this guys, unified model of the world to uh, the New World Order, you know to relativize and remove uh, institutions of international rights and national sovereignty. Uh, yes, the moron here is kind of guessing here. Putin speaks about US Imperium. Morons. For them exists Russia and the uh, US, you know, the, the, the two sides. These people are morons, guys. In such a unipolar, unified world, there is no place for sovereign states. Such a world needs merely of vessels uh, it, is, it, is, it is the end guys uh, f uh, from a historical perspective such a unipolar world of the USA uh, translation his guess you know 
would mean the surrender of one's own identity and of God created diversity. God created diversity, okay? Against the new world order, you know, it seems, you know. Look, look where he is, guys. These people are morons, guys. Just just the wealth here speaks for itself. Where is the humble the, the humble people here, guys? But these people have no eyes. Look at these pigs here, guys. Look at these pigs watching him talk. Look at these pigs. Old wealthy. You morons. Still fall for this shit. This this bullshit video is on a on a truth or so-called uh, bit shoot channel. You have no fucking brain. And here's the moron speaking now. The moron that made the video, which is pro Putin, pro morons. Uh, President Putin is effectively leading the change against the globalists, whereas our nation's leaders are working for them. You moron! You fucking moron! We need to come. Uh, but I guess these are controlled channels, guys. Under the spell, uh, we need to come out from under the spell of their propaganda and continue to stand for truth on all levels, whether against the the V that I cannot mention, disaster, or the insidious propaganda of war. Now, now let me tell you about the V, you motherfuckers, you morons, you zombies. Am I wrong that the Russian also went along with this bullshit? With the Sputnik, this one that I cannot mention, you morons? These people are morons, guys. And there's people still believing that, uh, you know, Putin is working, you know, against the globalists. It's unbelievable, guys. By supporting Ukraine, our nation is a supporter of Nazism. Klaus Schwab, Bill Gates, and blah, 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 blah. That treats us like trash. President Putin has been responsible for the construction of 30,000 churches in Russia. Oh, thank you, you, you reptilian, yeah. Thank you, your beautiful churches of wealthy pedophiles there in your churches. Oh, they, they, they are changing the world. Where you can go inside with a muzzle, yeah. You motherfuckers. And as uh, stated publicly that socialism, Nazism, communism has never worked in any nation in any time. Just words, guys just words they are all the same it is all about the battle of for our mind yes even this video is for the battle for for you for your two neurons that you have left you humanity is this the end no they are spending millions on employing actors to portray what they want us to see they are using old video for, who the gives a fuck who gives a fuck the, the fucking russia went along with the bullshit and is used by the same people that use all the other states right now to make this invasion this 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 bullshit war you know so that they will have the excuse you know to to make uh, a unified you know right now here in europe because they are talking about making a unified uh, military uh, no more state uh, na nations uh, military you know no more sovereignty at all guys uh, we have also to, since we rely too much on Russia, they say, uh, we need to uh, to have our own, you know, energy and we should unify all the countries of Europe because in this way we, 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 can, we can be stronger, you know, if we unify and have one uh, provider, you know, one uh, mind for all this, um, um, you know, controlling this energy in a unified way in Europe, you know. So these are all moves, guys, with this war that they will do. And if the, there was no war, they will not, cannot do all these uh, moves, guys, to unify on all kinds of, on energetical level, on uh, political level. NATO, you know, will be stronger after all this bullshit, this theater. And there is morons, you know, that think that this uh, Russia is on their side. You are the resi resistance on all levels. Prove the truth. Stay in. Stand by it. Our morons. Now, guys, let's go back to to what I'm talking about in this video, which is Leo Zagami. Let's debunk this other clown. So apparently, uh, this uh, clown has been on the Alex Jones uh, show. You know, the other clown, and uh, which tells you a lot. You know, but uh, let's hear 
because this is a podcast that this guy has, but uh, so let's hear what the podcast is all about. The onslaught of this cancer of progressivism, liberalism, and globalist brainwashing. This is a life or death situation. As you can hear, you know they they like to sound like they are on your on your side, you know. No messing around. The prescription is two doses of Infowars taken daily. Oh, really? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the American Journal. I'm Harrison Smith. My guest is Leo Zagami. He is an author with 12 published books based on a variety of subjects that range from history of the secret societies in the Vatican to geopolitical matters concerning the New World Order. He possesses intricate knowledge of the inner workings of occult secret societies as well as the Catholic Church. So it looks like we are in the right place, guys. Well, I, I felt like I had to have you on. I saw you were on with Alex on Sunday for a little while, and I thought... You know, I got to get Leo on because I remember talking to you a long time ago when you were here in town and we had a, we had a very long conversation. At one point, I asked you about Putin uh, because we don't I don't really know what to make of Putin. But luckily, we have the experts here that will tell us. He uh, is, uh, of course, uh, uh, willing to really put us uh, through hell uh, because uh, he thinks uh, that uh, we have uh, basically done so many unjust things against Russia that in the end, this is the only way he can finally assert uh, the, the, not only the dominance of Russia in his region, but also his sovereignty, because uh, the attempts that George Soros made over the years to dethrone him over and over again have made him more and more uh, angry. Yeah, Soros and, and Putin are the players here, guys. Uh, nobody's controlling them. Do you... Uh, discussed this on Sunday with Alex, and now there has been some confirmation. Infowars has the story. Remember, guys, Infowars uh, sold you Trump also, you morons. And I was explained by uh, these uh, people from the lodge uh, that I used to belong in uh, Romania, that basically... They... they tell you in your fucking face that they're one of them and you still don't get it, you morons. George Soros has a lot of interest and is trying to push himself aggressively in in, in Romania. Here you go again, Soros, talking about the puppets all the time. The new world order, this is the kind of concept I was discussing yesterday with a friend of mine that you all know, guys, uh, Sean Stone, the son of Oliver yeah. Stone. We were... Sean Stone. <laughs> we'll be back on the other side uh, with more from Leo Zagami. Don't go anywhere, folks. Uh, short commercial break. Leo Zagami.com is where you can buy his books. We'll be right back. Yes, I'm running to buy his book. These uh, people from the lodge uh, that I used to belong in. Uh... What else do you want me to buy? Infowarsstore.com. By visiting that, you go right to the page with the best deals on high-quality storable food, ready to ship. Storable food, ready to ship. Storable food, ready to ship. 